is going on, guys? Welcome back for another episode of The Walking Dead Survivors. All right, so I logged on, and I've seen some really good news. All right, so I went to the, I guess, the devs position on here, and I see that there's going to be a, let me see, they got a building guide, puzzle event, but they got a new version coming out June 16th, 2021. All right, so let's go ahead and check this out really fast. All right, so game date is scheduled for June 16th. It's a major update. You need to install the new version in order to continue to play. After the update, we'll send you a nice compensation compensation to make up for the inconvenience, which is probably not going to be, but hey, definitely appreciate those gems they're probably going to give us anyway, rubies. All right, so they added combat survivor chemistry. A number of legendary and epic survivors now have chemistry. Putting two or three survivors have chemistry with each other in, um, in the same formation can give fighters a bonus effect. This is what I was thinking about. Every single time we do something in the game, as far as formations go, they got to have some kind of formation um, chemistry because most of their stats are almost the same. So now I guess they're going to change them up just a little bit, I, I hope. All right, so more details are given in a separate letter. All right, so they got optimization skills for combat survivors. Combat survivors will have more characteristics and combat strategies will be richer. You'll be able to see specific content and details posted in the official community soon. So stay tuned. All right, so they adjusted the rule for skill medals. Legendary skill medals will have uh, will be divided into legendary combat skill medals and legendary development skill medals. The same division we made for epic skill medals. Um, for upgrades of skills, legendary development uh, survivors, you need legendary development skill medals. For epic development survivors, you need epic development skill medals. I'm glad they're changing this up because we can't use the same exact thing to upgrade all of our characters. So that's a good thing. All right. So for upgrades of skills, legendary command, you got me a little bit. We went over that. I think that's the same thing. Legendary epic medals you have in your inventory will be converted into legendary and epic combat skill medals. Nice. So save what you have, guys. Don't upgrade anything until the 16th, please. All right. The opportunities to win development skill medals are increased. For example, be a daily task, survival challenges, settlement siege, and Lone Trader Survivor Fragments. All right, so they got a free Survivor Reset, limited time. To support the above changes and additions, you'll be you'll get support to reset survivors. I don't understand that. It will allow you to raise up different survivors and make optimal use of changes and additions above. So I guess, I don't know if that's gonna skill reset every, I don't understand. So we'll, we'll see what that's gonna entail when it comes up. All right, so Survivor Reset is only applicable to survivors you own before the update. When you reset Survivor, the game will return all XP and skill medals you ever invested in a Survivor. The Survivor will be reset to level one. Oh, okay. I understand now. Important note regarding Legendary and Epic Survivor resets. All skill medals return will be combat skill medals. Even if you reset a development Survivor, you can only reset one Survivor or Survivor one time. Survivor Reset opens uh, when the game is updated on June 16th and closes at the end of June 22nd. So you got six days to do so. All right, so they added four new survivors. Uh, Militia Rick, Legendary Combat Survivor. Errant Shane, what? Legendary Combat Survivor. Yumiko, Legendary Combat Survivor. And Holly, Legendary Combat Survivor for Melee Fighters. All right, so optimizations regarding... Uh, regarding obtaining survivors optimize the, the display of information about how or where to get survivor fragments optimize the way to get survivors all right so number seven they got strengthen the attributes and development survivors development survivors will play more important role thank god because they suck right now <laughs> i'm not gonna lie guys they gotta change some of this stuff like I, i'm figuring out that they're finally doing that they probably think we have a good game in our hands. Let's not mess it up. And that's what I'm expecting. So they're going to change some things up. And I definitely appreciate that. All right. So in order to build a clan outpost or clan base in the central area of the map, your clan needs to have a certain amount of prosperity. Adjusted conditions of maximum number of clan outposts. You need a clan technology to raise the number of clan outposts your clan can build. Okay. Um, let's see, was you need a certain amount of prosperity to raise the maximum number of clan outposts in your clan can build. Um, this does not apply to clans that were created before the update. Your clan can build one clan outpost at a time. Okay, why would you want to build more? All right, the construction time and um, cost of the 31st 
and beyond clan outposts is reduced. New clan technologies are added. Big shot stone walls and out, uh, new outposts. Optimize the cost of researching clan technologies. You can only attack clan buildings that are near the border. You can't attack clan buildings further away. Okay, so what that means is what? <laughs> they got a new garrison system. The first five formations that are garrisoned in a clan building will directly participate in battles. The second five formations are spare formations that will enter the battles when there are less than five formations left in the first group. That's kind of good. Um, they optimized the survival challenge. Um, they added missions about vehicles, Town Hall 14 and higher. Remove missions for survivor upgrades when survivor star upgrades. Added points to be earned for limited time transmissions. Reduce the difficulty of survival pass. Oh, hell yeah. Um, the maximum number of survival pass XP per day is raised to 670. It was 580, thank God. Um, it is possible to reach survival pass node 80 in 24 days. There'll be survival fragments to win beyond node 80. They need to because we're paying 10 bucks for it. Come on now, if we're paying any money, give us what we're, what we're paying for. Come on. All right, so um, I love their adjustments. Increase the attack, defense, and hit point attributes of melee fighters. Sharpshooters and cavalry. Synchronize them with the changes caused by survivor chemistry and combat skills adjustments. The challenges affect three fighter types, basic attributes, and increased rates. All right, battle damage rules for PvP battles in communities level one through three in Savior's Outpost in the Sanctuary. There will be wounded instead of losses. Thank God. Optimize the art performance of the world map. Yay. It's not bad right now, but if they want to fix it, that's fine too. Added the daily task. Use one savage token. Lowered the unlock level of the scavenged town center to town hall seven was town hall nine. All right. So that's that right there. And they have another one here. Um, combat survivors chemistry. We'll go over that at another, another point. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do it now. We can. We got time. All right, so um, dear players, the update on June 16th will bring survivor chemistry to the game. If you let survivors who have mutual chemistry to work together, they'll perform even better. All right, so rules. Put three survivors from the same chemistry group in one formation to get special combat bonus effect. Put two survivors from the same, yeah, yeah, yeah. 40% of that special combat effect and bonus effects only affect fighters and crews led by one of the chemistry survivors in formation. Some survivors belong to more than one chemistry group and can enjoy two 40% chemistry bonus effects at the same time. What? All right, so chemistry groups and bonuses. Berserker, Shane, Boyd, and Rick. All fighters and survivors crew, plus 15 attack and defense. Straight shooters, Shane, Zeke, and Jared. All fighters in the survivor crew, plus 15% attack and defense. Cowboy Posse, Billy, Zeke, and Rick. All fighters in the survivor crew, Plus 15% attack and defense. I don't read all of it. Um, we got precision recon. Plus 20% and defense. Homegrown heroes. Plus 20% defense and hit points. The whispers. Oh, I didn't know ba I didn't know Lydia was one. Um, plus 30% attack and hit points. Love triangle. Plus 30% attack and defense. Freedom fighters. Plus 30% defense and hit points. The saviors. Plus 30% attack and defense. Tyrants. Plus 30% attack and hit points. And Magnus Crew. 30% attack and defense. And then you have the Elite Warriors. 30% attack and hit points. So I like that. So it's telling you who you should pair everybody up with. So I already have Jared, Zeke, and Shane. I have those. I have Shane, Boyd, and Rick. So I'm already, I already got the straight shooters and the berserkers. I got the clan posse. Um, I don't have Glenn. So I guess they're going to probably push Glenn a little more because they're trying to push him for 20 bucks. I don't really want to spend 20 bucks for him. Um, but yeah, I got that and I got some other things. So I'm looking forward to this update, guys. It's going to be amazing. Hope you guys stay tuned for the coverage of all that good stuff when it comes out. And as things come by, you guys don't. Uncle Swill will let you guys know what's going on in the game. But either way, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's episode, please drop a like on it. It does help out the channel tremendously before, um, despite what people may think. It only takes a couple seconds. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. I promise. And also consider subscribing. And also let's get some comments going, guys. Get a comment train going because I definitely want to hear from you guys. I do read all comments and I do respond to them all. 
So I definitely want to see what you guys are thinking about in this community because it's really amazing so far. Um, I didn't know the game was going to be this good. I was going to play it like one or two episodes and that was about it. But look how long I'm playing it. I'm even spending some money in the game. Come on now. If Uncle Swill is spending some money, then you know it's got to be something right. But either way, guys, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one. Be safe out there. Love you all.